what I want to talk to you today about is, is the gestalt of physics, is the way scientists, and particular physicists, because physicists are the prototypical scientists after all, um, view the world. And it is uh, different than what you're used to. But it is an essential part of understanding how we take this complicated world, this incredibly complicated world of diverse phenomena, and make it simple. Simple enough to at least try and answer some questions and make some predictions. So, um, you know, the, I, I want to do an experiment I once did for the leaders of the free world. And it was very depressing. <laughs> so, um, so, okay, so I'm going to drop the book and the piece of paper. Okay, which is going to hit first? Book, okay, you sure? Okay, okay, we got that right. Now, the key question is why did it hit first? Now, I'm not even going to ask for the answer because I, it, some of you, will, I don't want to embarrass some of you and others will be so proud you know, it doesn't matter. But 50% but of the leaders of the free world told me this hit first because it was heavier. Now, that's sad because, in fact, about 450 years ago, Galileo showed us that wasn't the case. Now, many of them learned it in school and went in one ear and out the other because it was written on some board. But, in fact, he also provided an, a, a, a demonstration of that fact, and I will, which I now will do. So I'm going to take the piece of paper and do this. It is no heavier than it was before, but it falls at the same rate. Now, now all of those leaders of the free world will remember that fact because the only way to really learn anything is to be confronted by your own misconceptions, which is why you are going to learn so much today. Because most, much, of our, uh, much of what we view the world as being is a misconception. Namely, what Galileo did by that, that experiment, is he abstracted out all the stuff that makes motion so complicated. The fact that the piece of paper does all sorts of crazy things when it falls down, and the book did some crazy things too, are things that are, that, that are red herrings that get in the way of what's really happening. And the trick of science is to try and abstract out the unnecessary stuff to find out the necessary stuff. And there are a bunch of tools we use. So that's what I want to talk about today. And, be, and by the way, that simple abstraction changed everything. That was the first result that made the world modern. That was the first result of modern science, that everything falls at the same rate. And of course, you could say everything falls at the same rate due to gravity, and that led to Newton to do what he did. But just from that simple observation that not everything falls at the same rate, everything falls at a different rate. But all the reasons are irrelevant. So how can you find out what's relevant and what's not relevant? Okay, that's, those are the tricks.